Welcome back to Lunch at the Market. We're not terribly surprised to see the market sell off today, considering the ramp we got on Wednesday. It is our belief that there are a larger number of people missing from their desks today, and it's easier to whip the markets around on lower volume. Heck, Brad barely got out of bed this morning thanks to putting many people on their backside yesterday morning in the annual Turkey Bowl as he captured the game's leading tackler award. Despite the pain, Brad was out this morning at 3 a.m. waiting in line at HH Gregg. We actually highlighted HHG and BBY in January off our 3D Revolution Index. This index from our January 7th edition of Lunch at the Market included these retailers along with IMAX, DTV, GLW. Only GLW has been a loser for you this year if you bought all of our 3D Revolution Index members. But well, if you did, you're up from 14 to 26 on IMAX, 40 to 45 on BBY, and up from 22 to 25 on HGG, down from 1960 to 18 on GLW, and roughly flat on PC from 1464 to 1446. There's been plenty of chances to exit many of these names along the way for much more than we bought them for. HH Gregg was up from $30 in June, and Best Buy went to 48 in May. The moral of this story? One, diversica diversification will always be the name of the game to get the most out of your portfolio, as winners in our made-up ETF more than outweigh the losers. Two, when you have big profits, like when PC spiked to $17 a day or two after we recommended it, then take them. Don't look a, a gift horse in the mouth. Speaking of taking your profits, we did this morning on CPI International, which trades under the symbol CPII. This electronics components maker, one of our themes for 2010 along with aerospace and specialty chemical makers, has been terrific for us. We like the component makers because many of them are small enough to be acquired, yet they're essential if you're going to produce much loved devices like smartphones, tablet PCs, and must-have electronic devices. Companies like TSRA and SYNA make up different parts of the mobile market, with TSRA being known for its huge footprint in the optical segment, and SYNA being known for its touchscreen and other human interfaces that are essential in the new devices we love and use every day. I'll throw in an off-the-path name along with those two MOF favorites, LGL Group, symbol LGL, designs, manufactures, and markets custom design engineered electronic components that are used in quartz crystals oscillators, and electronic filers. LGL trades with a PE of 18, but the forward PE is 5.5, signaling a much brighter future. PEG is 0.42, and their balance sheet is about 1 to 1 for cash to debt. LGL is a name that shouldn't be on many radars, but we think it deserves to be on yours. Take your big grains when you have them. Keep a fair bit of cash on hand so you can be opportunistic, and don't be afraid to buy when others are headed for the door. You had a chance to buy Banco Santander this morning, STD, from, for under $10 if you are watching. We were and we added to our stake in STD. We did the same for Abbott Labs. ABT has a 3.7% yield, has been obliterated this year from the 52-week high near $54, and has raised its dividend every year for 37 years. Has a forward PE of just 10 and $2.49 per share in cash, with $4.11 billion in free cash flow. We think both stocks pay an attractive dividend and offer a prudent value investor a shot <clears throat> at a great company that is on sale today, just like those electronics Brad picked up this morning for Black Friday. Enjoy the amazing night of football. MO favorites Boise State and Oregon are on late tonight and we'll be watching. We hope you and your family had a lot to be thankful for yesterday. We did and it was a very nice day. Hope you had a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday.